let's talk about conditionals. Um, in Python, conditionals represent a, an expression that would only um, be executed when a certain condition is met. So basically, you set a condition and then you say, do this thing if this condition is met. If this condition is not met, you can also set it that do this other thing. And if this other condition is not met, then do this thing. So basically, conditionals allows you to um, set different results for different conditions. So I'm going to be starting with something very basic and simple and straightforward. Say I have a, I have a movie theater that allows um, only... Okay, so there's a movie showing and it allows only those who are above 18 years to watch. And I'm supposed to allow only those above 18 years to watch that movie. So at the entrance, you buy a ticket. I check your ID before you buy the ticket. If your ID is less than 18, I tell you, you are not allowed to buy this ticket. Move on to other movies. Maybe buy a cartoon ticket or something. And if your ID is appropriate, uh, I mean your age is okay, then I ask you, then I sell the ticket to you, then you can watch the movie. So say I have a, a variable age, that's all I'm interested in in a ticket, I don't, uh, in the ID, I'm not interested in their name, I'm not interested in anything else, just their age. So say the age of this particular person I'm addressing right now is 17.5, that's very close to 18, but it's not yet 18. Uh, so this person should naturally not be able to get into my movie. And then I'm going to do what we call check if something is met like i said during uh when we talked about boolean i, I mentioned that most uh, conditional expressions check if a boolean condition is met if that condition is met that means it returns true if it is not met that means it returns false so i'm saying here that if the age on this particular id card is greater than uh, okay say it's equal to 18 so this basically means this person is up to 18 years old. I would say print um, customer can purchase ticket for movie uh, scary, uh, what's, what's scary Terry? Um, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a real movie, but you know. All right, so the na movie name, in fact, you know what? Let's set the movie name as a variable too. So we don't have to type it every time, you know, because I'm still going to write, um, still going to write a lot of if statements, and I don't want to waste time. Um, movie, add a space here. Right. So right now I'm checking if the age is equal to 18, but there's a problem here. If my age is equal to, is not equal to 18, then nothing will happen. So let me show you what happens when I run this code now. Because my age is currently 17.5. If I run this code now, nothing shows here. Nothing. Let's try it again just to be extra sure. And it's still empty. That's because I am only checking if the age is equal to 18. So let's change this thing right here. Change it to if the age is greater than 18. That means this customer can buy this ticket. If I run this code now, obviously I should see nothing also because uh, I'm only checking if the age is greater than 18. I'm not checking if it is less than 18. All right, so but, but right now what I am interested in is if a person is 18 and above. So what I did here would only check above 18, not 18 and above. 18 and above means it is either equal to 18 or more than 18. My current check would do if it would print or would allow the person buy the ticket if um, if the age is only more than 18 years old. Meanwhile, my, my age range is supposed to be 18 and above. So what I need to do here is say, if the age is greater than or equal to 18. So this basically means that if a person is 18, 19, and 20 and above, then such a person can buy a ticket for this scary movie. So let's run this code now. Obviously, I should get nothing which is still fine because my age is still up to 18. So let's write 18 here to see what happens now. Then I get the proper response that I've been expecting. Customer can purchase ticket uh, for movie this. So now what we need to do is to return a message if this condition is not met. So how do I do that? I can either do another check, say if age is not, uh, is less than 18. 
then print out don't forget to add the colon there print out customer is not allowed to watch this movie and it's a matter of fact you know what this is redundant it's more useful i can just say this movie all right so this makes this is easier instead of having multiple variables that we never or probably never use right so now i have been able to achieve two things i'm checking if the person can purchase the ticket and i am also checking if the person cannot get the ticket so what i have done is i have decided to produce the proper response regardless of whatever condition um whatever results whatever age this person has this person has so this is usually called um feedback it is important to give your customers or your users feedback if there is an error you need to catch that error and tell them what the error is or what the problem is so this is important it might not be um so it, it doesn't seem so big right now but when we start writing a proper application you will see how important it is so let's change this to 16 obviously like, you're not supposed to be able to watch this particular movie and it says customer is not allowed to watch this movie and then the attendant just tells you well you are not allowed to see this movie and that's it so now imagine i have multiple conditions i want to check for say um you go to the amusement the park and then you you can only ride this particular um ride you can only get on this particular ride if your age is up to 18 and if your height is uh says five feet and so i'm going to do that and say height and say five feet let's let's just say five i mean that's obviously height so now what i'm going to do i'll take this out so what i'm going to do now is to check for the age and the height so only when those two conditions return true should this person be allowed on this ride so let's say if age is greater than or equal to 18 remember and height is greater than or equal to five so this is a new keyword i'm introducing this is basically checking two conditions now we have the all condition which we are going to be talking about later so we have and and then we have or let's talk about the and because i've used it already so and basically says the two or more conditions i mean it's let's say two the two conditions must be true for the test to pass so this means these two checks must be true must pass for uh, for must be true for this test to return true so the test we have right now is this and this so in individual component of this must return true for this to be true okay so now we can say print um person can can get on the ride so this makes sense right i'm checking if their age is uh, up to what i need and then i'm saying i'm checking their height too and if their height and age is uh, what i need then they can get on the ride and then i can do what i did earlier i can do another check if age uh, is less than or is less than 18 now i can't say and height is less than five i'm going to tell you why i can't use and here um so person cannot get on this right say this right because it's right specific right so this is going to be a problem because so let me explain this initially i've done this this is fine i'm checking if the height and age are correct then i can they can get on the right however this check is going to cause a little problem because now i'm saying if the age um is less than 18 and the height is less than 5 so what happens if the age is less than 18 but the height is more than 5 then this is not going to print out anything initially i said it's important to produce feedback to your users so it means so let's just try this out i mean i feel like i'm talking too much uh so let's try this out uh run this code um currently nothing is being outputted and do you know why it says uh, this is the reason it's obvious 
Uh, the conditions I've set here, it says if age is less than 18, that's true, it's less than 18, and height is less than 5, my height is not less than 5, and then nothing is being outputted because those conditions are not met. So what I need here is if age is less than 18 or height is less than 5. So for like I said earlier, the AND condition requires the two things you are checking to pass to be true for the test to pass. However, the OR condition, uh, only one is required to be true for the test to pass. So if any of these conditions are true or false, sorry, if any of these, of these conditions are true, sorry, if any of these conditions here are true, then this person is not allowed to write because the only reason why you will be able to write is if both your age and your height meet the minimum requirement. If either of them don't meet the requirement, then you are not allowed to write. So what I have done here is to undo, adding the all here now means I have undo every uh, possible scenario. I mean, the possible scenarios are your height is less than the required age, uh, your height is less than the required height, your age is less than the required age, age or both pass or one passes. So basically, uh, this undoes everything I need to undo. So let's save this and run the code again. I expect to see person cannot get on this right. That's because my age is 16 while my height is 5. So let's change my age to, its age to 18 and run the code again. Now I should be able to get on the right. That's because I now meet both conditions. If I change this also to four, this means I should not be able to get on the right. And as you can see, I am not able to get on the right. So basically, this is the concept of uh, um, conditionals. There are, however, other ways you can use conditionals. So imagine I want to then, um, I want to then have a condition that happens when none of these things are met so i mean right now it's not possible but in a scenario where it is possible to to not meet any of these criteria so so if i have um uh if i have someone who is less than 18 who is also whose height is also less than the required height this will be printed out now imagine there is another condition which I have not thought about catching, then I need a way to properly print out something um, to the user. Say, for example, I can't find the age or I can't find the height or it's, it's null or something. Maybe this is null. Um, yeah, maybe this is null. Uh, then those are things I can't really check for because it is not even a number. So obviously there might be some kind of error somewhere. So I need a way to undo those kind of things. So I can say this um, error, something went wrong with your input. So if none of these conditions are met, I expect this to come out. But if I leave it this way, then I'm going to have some trouble because uh, now this is probably going to print every time I run the code. See, after the person cannot get on the right, I get error, something goes wrong. So I need a way to only print this when none of these conditions are met, which is where we came up with the concept of else if. In most programming languages, what you do is to say else if, but in Python, what we do is to say L, I mean, L if. I don't know why, <laughs> why, why they decided to do that, but that's what we have for Python. So. This is saying, if this condition is not met, check if else, if this is met, if this is not met, check if the next one is met. So I'm going to move this up here. So basically this is saying, if this condition, condition is not met, then come here and check this condition here. So let's move this um, here. And then finally, I'm going to try else, print this. I'm terminating again. So let's just, let's just try this out. Let's just try this out. So this is what I've done so far. 
uh, instead of having two different if statements, I have combined everything into a single statement. So the program goes, goes from the top to the bottom. So I'm going from here, checking if this condition is met. If not, I come here, check if this condition is met. If not, I come here and print this out. So this obviously means there is an error somewhere. Now let's run this code, uh, run code. And you can see it says person cannot get on the ride and it's not printing the error message anymore. 